Gibson, he's the goaltender, Capitals draft pick for Harvard. Jakob Dobish plays net for Ohio State. He's from the Czech Republic. There's Farrell, the Crimson. And Dobish makes the first save off a hard wrist shot from Coronado, the Calgary Flame draft pick. There's Lorai behind that, but turnover. Here come the Crimson now. Coronado wheels and fires. Early pressure by Harvard. Parents, mom's a teacher. Dad paved a lot of roads in the Czech Republic. <laughs> He's a cool cat, very confident, spoke very clear and confidently yesterday when we met with these teams. And at the other end, it's Mitchell Gibbs. Harvard's sitting back now to 1-2-2 two, two as the Buckeyes try to create some offense and get down the ice there quickly. Now they'll look to forecheck. Good yeah. reversal in front. If I'm Gustav Westland of Ohio State, I'm looking to get a hit early, Butchie. When you haven't played in a while, you want to feel some contact. You want to get engaged in the game, and no better way to do it than with some contact. He's got the puck now. Big body protects. Back to the point. Quick wrist shot. Save. It's loose in front of Gibson. But Harvard does a good job clearing as Lorai got that shot. Six foot four inch Boston Bruin defenseman. Buckeyes turn it over, and here they come. Feasty shot. Score! Cam Feesing with the fear to be a utility player, just really going to work down low. And Gustav Wessling, who is that late addition, he wins a battle along the wall. This is something that he does well, the Swedish player, mm. and just dishes the puck down low. And put back bar rattler there. Hit the entire top shelf and gives Ohio State that all important first goal. Now they can really be smart, focus on running on. Full gas, pedal to the metal. The adrenaline is flowing after you get an NCAA tournament goal. Wise plaster behind the net. Back to the point it comes. Duke, a little wide on purpose. There's the scene again, hanging around the cage, and now Coronado has it. Yeah, Ohio State doing a nice job of getting on top of the goaltender for Harvard, Mitch Gibson, just making him uncomfortable. Harpa, top line out there for Harvard. Moore looking, sends it, but blocked there by Wise into the corner. Buckeyes against it. Here they go. Shot blocked in the corner. Farrell still out there, number 21. Tipped in front. A good hard shot by LaFerriere and Farinacci. Got a stick on that. Right on the doorstep. I think the puck was just bouncing and went right over his stick. Harvard's got to be a little more thorough with the puck. Uh, one too many turnovers, I think, to start this hockey game, which is really why they're finding themselves. Here come the Crimson Farrell. He'll give it to Carpa. Coronado will change. Farrell back to Moore, the defenseman, but gathered by Lude. Number 19 is an Ottawa draft pick. Keep an eye on 19 and Scarlet and Gray. He can put one in as well. And they definitely have weapons on this power play. Out. Scooter Bricky back on the point. Number eight, the right-handed shot. Bricky has the puck now, looking to make a play. Down low, there's Singleton, number 13. Wrist shot saved by Gibson. <laughs> Duke towards the net. Buckeyes up 1-0 on the feasting goal. That guy with the puck right now. He rims it around to Davis Burnside on the other side. Bricky wants it, gets it. Gives it to Duke. Singleton, Duke, Bricky. Duke one-timer blocked in front nicely by Barr. See the power play winding that's there for Harvard. Look, you get down 2-0 Ohio State, it's trouble. Just like Denver and Cornell yesterday. So you want to make sure if you're Harvard, you get into this game. Right now, it's all Ohio State. And they are making this a muddy row. Look at the neutral zone right yep. now. Five guys between the two blue lines. Farrell's the guy that can break it. Here he comes. He enters zone with Carpa. Trying to get it back to Farrell, number 21. He'll play, make, and score. But again, the Buckeyes get the puck. And he looked to get it right out, but there's a turnover. Front, there's a chance. Coronado looking to make a pass over to Farrell, but he can't quite complete it, and Farrell's pacing against the boards. Now the ESPN Plus, you can, all the games are on there streaming as well. Farrell, he needs to do something. Here he comes. Good stick, though, and back come the Buckeyes. Harvard call, and here's Farrell. This top line will try to get a goal here. Thrun to the net. Kick save there. That would have been wide, short side. Dobish has not been busy at all. His Buckeyes in front of him have played a perfect first period for Steve Rollick. They stayed out of the box, kept this power play of Harvard on ice. It looks like they're going to go to the room up 2 0. Another chance for the top line of Harvard to make it 2 1. Farrell stays out there along the wall. 
Bricky's a nice rangy defenseman to get in the way and help it. the first goal and then the second goal especially. That's the tough one to overcome because Harvard's got to find a way to score two. That's a lot on now, Butchie, is the neutral zone and the way that Ohio State sits five guys in there. They tempt you to skate it and they want to make turnovers in the neutral zone. That puck didn't come off the end boards. It's been kind of ricocheting out to the front of the net normally. I think that's what Henry Thrun was expecting, but that puck hit kind of dead. And we'll see if Harper can... I'm sure that was the first roll. Gets get shots. Here's Coronado. Carper's got to open it again. Carper walks in. Oh, what a save by Dobish, who came way out on top of his crease. Yeah, you don't usually see a goaltender come no. seven or eight feet outside of the goal crease in order to make a save, but Harvard's gonna like this. Matthew Coronado driving in on the offensive zone and creating a little bit of space for Carpa, but Dobash with probably his most challenging save of this hockey game, but he was certainly up to the test. Big time. So he's made two early saves here after three shots on goal in the first. Harvard does get a couple here early in the second. Harvard will three on two if they hurry. But good back check by the Buckeyes. Hey Duke, shot over the head of Dobish. Probably got to get to the room no worse than four to two. Shot saved by Dobish. Good chance for Harvard there. They've had more chances. Knocked down in front, wrist shot. Again, Harvard's still looking for their first power play. Ohio State dominating five on five. Westland from Wise, that was the th at the point. There's Farrell, one-timer across. Coronado fires in front, oh he had Farinacci for the tap-in goal at the top of the crease. But Farinacci couldn't make contact. Farrell again walking in, nice to the bumper. Stick goes flying, that was Duke stick. He goes and picks it up. Coronado open for the one-timer, quicks in front, oh the redirect. Coronado, he's the sniper on this. Round pick of the Ducks, has it now. Moore, Farrell throws it across, but Coronado has it, the dangerous one, looking to walk in, back to Moore. Farrell's open. If he wants it, he has it. Farrell looking to make a play. Got Farinacci in front. The Ferrier hops over a stick. Gets it back. Gloves it back down to us. A little too hard in the backhander. And here, here they come. Short-handed. They got 10 short-handed goals this year. Shot. The There's Henry Thrun. Two defensemen on the second unit as they prepare for five on five. That's a high shot to the chest of Dobish. But he makes the save. Five seconds left. Burnside is on his feet in the penalty box getting ready to step out Puck looking for a penalty he's not coming good play there by Westland keeps his feet moving keeps his stick out of his hands see them now aggressive pinching will have to begin for the Harvard defense as Ian Moore threw that puck on that at number two puck goes in front Dobish tries to cover it up oh there's a hit from behind penalty hall in the NCAA tournament before today just meant once all time but guys who haven't made the tournament since 2019 are dominating this game up 5-0. Hartle Coachella Valley Firebirds. And David Gus is an awesome story. He was on an AHL deal with the Blackhawks. He gets signed to an NHL deal. He gets recalled, scores a goal on his oh, no! first shift. A wonderful guy, a great opportunity for him with the Blackhawks. He's played a couple of games, so good for David Gus. An awesome story. I'm sure he's watching this game. You know, guys love to get involved as alumni to watch this tournament. Assistant coach uh, J.B. Bittner was uh, on three Ohio State tournament teams, 2003 to 2005. And here they come again, looking for another one. As Gibson goes sparling into the net, Singleton lost his prick. And then end up with a C on their jersey, unless they are high character players. Kind of disappointing that it didn't work out with the previous coaching staff at Boston University. His best foot forward. Seedham saw Westland coming and got rid of that quickly. Westland stiffening. They've stuck to their game plan. They forecheck, they've been physical, and it's been all Ohio State. Yeah, take not as the Buckeyes looking to add more now. Looking for number eight. One timer saved by Gibson. The shooting gallery continues for Ohio State. Now Farrell shorthanded with Coronado. Coronado, Farrell. Farrell waits, waits, got the shot, doesn't take it. Try to go one timer to clean up seven goals. That's how dominant the Buckeyes have been. That's, what I, that's what I meant to say last period. Yeah. <laughs> he was going to start the third period. Yeah, and 11 goals to Michigan. Now they pump in eight. It's been a disappointing thing. Chip the puck in behind the net. You're going to continue to play if you're the Ohio State Buckeyes, but you want to play smart and you want to continue to think about the bigger picture. Old in-your-face teams 
who are going to lean on you all game. So it's going to be totally different for Ohio State. So you're right. For Steve Rollick, it's getting ready for the next opponent. And they're going to play a zone that's mm. going to be above the puck, that's going to think defense first. We'll find our offense later. So you are exactly right on that, Butchie. No push. The net comes off and then falls back down on its pegs. Anything really can happen in a one-game format based on you know, a bounce that happens early in a game, a goal that Brenda Morris had a heck of a year, really flourished offensively, so I don't think they get enough credit on the offense, Butchie. Now you can see these Buckeye players kind of selling out for their goalie, right? They want him to get the shutout. Guzzo's blocking shots in an 8-0 game. Yeah. Bigger picture, and, you know, just talking to coaches from other teams who have won their first game so far, and that, that's exact mm -hmm. win one get to the next one. I talked to Drew Comesso, same thing. We just got to get one more and we move on to Tampa Bay. Yeah, you can see a path when you get that first one especially. You only need to win four in a row to win a national championship and you, you get that first one. You're down in school history. Such a successful athletic department, such a gigantic athletic department with 36 sports they have in Columbus. And they haven't won a hockey title. They would love to add one of them to that trophy case and they need just three more wins to do it. There comes Carpa with Coronado and Farrell. Maybe for the last period ever in their careers. We'll see what happens if Coronado decides to turn pro. Flames Brass is here in Bridgeport. And soon they'll try to sign him. They haven't suffered many losses since December. So Harvard power play to try to get on the board. Ferrier. Down low to Farrell. Goes back to the point. More shot, one-timer Coronado. Bean pot final against Northeastern. And the bumper shot, save by Dovish. Nice save on Alex Gaffney. Hasn't seen a lot of action. This team has been elite in front of him today. second year as a Badger. Look at Coronado come in. Look. It stays out. Still stays out. Oh, man. And that's what kind of day it's been for Harvard. How didn't that puck go in the net? And Dobish keeps his shutout. Harvard wants to get on the board. That's deflected into Ian Moore. What happened here? Yeah, if you want to draw up what's gone wrong for Harvard, that is a perfect oh. illustration. I mean, that puck pinballs oh. off Ragula yeah. both of his skates. I mean, 99 times out of 100, that goes into the back of the middle. That's always a good story down in Tampa this year. Chipped out by Matt Cassidy. Off the bench. Dobish, another save as he denies Ryan Healy. Looking for the largest shutout in NCAA hockey history. Tournament hockey history. If the Buckeyes can hold on here in the final four and a half, get Jakob Dobish from the Czech Republic. His shutout. <laughs> Dobish from Ostrava, Czech Republic. Makes another save. Win in for Harvard today. On to the next level or on to a hedge fund or an equity. <laughs> Some sort of, you know, <laughs> instincts, but... You know, I think he sort of figures to be a real solid two-way defense. The 23 23-year-old goes back into the net. And a good thrill for Derek Malahi to get some NCAA tournament action for him. Play fine in net. Puck bouncing off the post and in. And the shutout is gone for Jakob Dobish and Harvard. Not in a celebratory mood, but still on the board as they score. John Farinacci, Ted Donato's nephew, will be the first to the bench, and they're not going to bother with glove taps. He's going to go right and sit down. Yeah, a little bit of a fluky goal. We talked a lot about the Harvard uh, his, power play uh, throughout this ankle. game, and certainly not how you draw it up, but kind of an indication how things have really gone mm. for Harvard. A little bit of a run. Yeah, this is probably his last shift as a member of the Crimson, number three. Shot, blocker saved by Dobish. He wants to stay sharp the rest of the way. It's gonna be a little different. From Quinnipiac and Merrimack on Sunday. What do you... Well, you certainly commend the way that they played, the way that they battled, but you gotta focus.